Health Watch is presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. Here, caring for you. Welcome to Health Watch presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. We're talking to Dr. David Tiber with Pediatric Critical Care about dry drowning. Dr. Tiber, what is delayed death from drowning? Drowning does not necessarily mean that a patient dies while they're underwater. Uh, a drowning event is when a patient goes underwater and has difficulty breathing. Uh, they may come out of the water and look just fine. They may initially be sick or they may be sick later on. It can happen up to the first 24 hours after they're pulled from the water. What really happens is two different types of things. One can be where the water hits the vocal cords and causes the vocal cords to spasm shut and the patient can't breathe. The second way that this can happen is that water gets past the vocal cords into the lungs. And when this happens, it, disrupt, it disrupts the way the lungs work naturally. Why is dry drowning a misnomer for this type of drowning? All drowning occurs underwater or at least under some form of liquid. So therefore, all drowning is wet. You may not see water coming out of a person's mouth, and that may be why the term dry drowning came into favor. How common is death from delayed drowning? It's actually very rare. It accounts for about 1% to 2% of all drowning incidents. Can you walk us through what happens when someone experiences delayed drowning? Water gets into the lungs, and as I said, it, it disrupts the way the lungs work. Um, the patient can come out coughing, or they may come out of the water looking just fine. And as the lung damage accumulates over the next 24 hours, they can then fall ill. Is there anything that can be done at home or is an emergency room visit their best option? The best thing to do is monitor for the signs, confusion, trouble breathing, agitation, sleepiness, excessive tiredness, um, and uh, chest pain and cough. Um, if they note any of those or they think those symptoms started and are getting worse, then they should definitely head into the emergency room.